Hey guys, I'm going to show you my body care routine. Great if you've got eczema or dry skin. So at first it's deciding whether I have a bath or a shower. If I have a bath, I love to use Lush bath products like Ceridrin's Cauldron. This has got cocoa butter, whole oats and other things. Whole oats are a natural anti-inflammatory and cocoa butter is a natural emollient, so really moisturising. Oil baths are great to soothe the skin from any flare-ups. My other favourite is the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. This has got Rasool Mud, Honey and Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera is great for scars and soothes the skin. Honey is a natural antibacterial. And Rasool Mud is just great for the skin in general as it firms and tones. When I cleanse, I like to keep my products quite natural as well. I like to use the Dr. Bronner's soap. I love all the different ones, but at the moment I'm using the green tea one. Dr. Bronner's is a pure castile soap, so I avoid any sulfates on my skin and hair. I have a different facial routine, that's why my face isn't getting sudsy, but I like to use a flannel to get myself super duper clean. Then I like to exfoliate, and I know you're probably thinking, exfoliate when you have eczema, what a nightmare. But actually you should exfoliate because if you have a buildup of dead skin, it's going to exacerbate the issue. So I like to use Cup of Joe coffee scrub, the chocolate and orange one is divine. It's got Arabica coffee, which is great for circulation, and coconut oil, which has capric and lauric acid, which helps to alleviate the skin of itchiness and flakes. So I apply that all over my body. It's a really lovely soft scrub, finely milled, and I swear it leaves your bathroom smelling amazing. <laughs> but the finely milled ones are great to use if you have particularly sensitive or dry skin. I've tried quite a few in my time. It doesn't tear at the skin at all. So I like to apply it all over my body, particularly focusing on my elbows and my armpits because <laughs> that will remove any hyperpigmentation. And I also like to use it on my legs. Great if you do hair removal of any kind because this is gonna improve the circulation and remove any ingrown hairs. I like this particular coffee scrub because it contains no water or preservatives, so it leaves most of the natural ingredients in there. So once you're done scrub-a-dub dubbing, you can rinse it all off and you'll be left with this really lovely oil residue. And if you haven't got particularly dry or eczema prone skin, then this can be it for your moisturizing routine. You'll see it's left my skin really soft and supple. However, because I do have eczema, I like to moisturize further. So I use the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This has got colloidal oats and it's fragrance free, so it's perfect for sensitive skin. It absorbs so quickly. So so I apply that all over my body to keep me soft and supple and moisturised. I do use steroid creams but very rarely because they can thin and damage the skin. I prefer a natural routine and I've found my routine has actually kept my eczema at bay and any flare ups I do have I recover from very quickly. I also tend to avoid dairy in my diet and woolen clothing. If you guys have any more tips for eczema or dry skin, leave them in the comments down below. That's my body care routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.